might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living And I'm Marie and we hope everyone is having a great day and having a great weekend this weekend. Uh, we've had our share of rain this last week and yeah. <laughs> it was sort of warm, but now the temperatures have dropped cold, but the sun is shining real pretty and I'm looking outside right now. It's just beautiful outside, isn't it, Marie? Yep, everything's in bloom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Saturday afternoon. We're doing our Sunday chat and normally we do it on Saturday mornings but we had some things we had to do today and we did them first and messed around. Now it's about 3.30 in the afternoon, isn't it, Marie? Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, but we're getting it done as soon as we finish talking today. Uh, I'll go in there and I'll start doing the editing and then Marie, she'll probably start supper for this evening. Then we'll enjoy a good supper later tonight, won't we, Marie? We, we certainly will. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got a couple things. But I would enjoy it better if I had pizza. Pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Call up Domino's or okay. Pizza Hut. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you had told me you was thinking about doing some fried okra. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, I think I love, <laughs> I mean, I know I love fried okra. <laughs> me too. Okay, but we're not doing a video this evening, so don't no. be expecting to see <laughs> fried okra on the video. <laughs> no. Okay, got a couple of things I want to talk about first. Uh, one of our subscribers, uh, this last week, he sent me two of these medals, and I'll do you a close-up picture real quick, but this first one here is an Army Veteran Medal. And then the second one is a Thank You For Your Service Medal. And both of these are for veterans. And uh, he is a veteran also, and uh, we talk quite a bit in comments and uh, emails, and I appreciate very much. He asked me to remain anonymous. He didn't want us to tell his name, so we will respect his privacy, but I just want to let you know I appreciate these very much. Uh, you didn't know this, and I don't say much about this, but I do have a coin collection, and uh, these are about the same size as a half dollar and they weigh about the same as a silver dollar but these will go in my coin collection and i will uh you know admire them quite often so thank you very much i appreciate it very much okay the next thing that we want to talk about this week um and i, I debated all week long as to what i wanted to say and how much i wanted to say <laughs> But on Monday of last week, that was our daughter's birthday, but also my real good friend uh, that just lives right across the street from me. Uh, his name is uh, Mr. Jimmy Blair. Uh, he passed away. He was 92 years old. And he was such a sweet Christian man and just, yeah. I have never known anyone as nice as he is. I know. And he was just, he was fantastic. Yeah. He uh he loved the garden mm -hmm. and he had a garden all the way up till he was uh i believe either 89 or 90 years old yeah. and uh, i'm going to put a link in the description below and i'm going to link two videos that mr blair is in our videos one of them was on his birthday uh when he turned 89 years old mm -hmm. and he was out in his garden uh plowing the garden up at 89 years old. All right. And the other video is uh, where I got Mr. Blair to talk about a little story that goes with these peppers that he growed. Yeah. And uh, everybody around the Silver Creek area knows Mr. Blair, and he's well known for his 1941 peppers. Yeah. And we just 
in a short name for it, we just call them 41 peppers. He planted them every single year. They were extremely hot. Uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't eat them, but mm -hmm. I did plant them because I did enjoy planting them also. Yeah. But he tells the story about how they got the name uh, 1941 Peppers. So I'll put a link to those two videos. If you want to take the time to watch it, I think you'll enjoy those videos and you'll see what a, a wonderful man uh, Mr. Blair is. Uh, his wife, uh, she's still living. She's 90 years old. And I know she's going to miss him so much. And he's got three sons, and they're going to all miss him too. And, uh, yeah. and we're missing him already. I mean, right. it's just, but we, I think you remember last week, Marie did a video. And one of her videos, we did, Marie made two. Uh, it was a chicken cobbler, wasn't it, right? Yeah. She made two of those, and we took one over there to them. And we actually took that over a day or two before he passed away. Mm -hmm. And we got to talk to him before. Yeah, we was able to talk to him. Yeah. Uh, that particular day, he was alert, mm -hmm. and he was able to talk to me and Marie both. Yeah, uh, he recognized us. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and me, I talked to him about the garden, and I told him, I said, I'm going to try to start my plants sometime in the next few days. And he took his little hands and did like this, like he was clapping, like he was happy about that. Yeah. And uh, like I say, just a sweet, precious man. Mm -hmm. And always been in good health all the way up to the very end here. Yeah. And it was just sort of sudden that his health went down so quick. Yeah. And if something didn't go good in our garden and he knew about it, he would bring us whatever it was. <laughs> he would, when, on the years that I had a garden, I mm -hmm. didn't have a garden while I was still working. But after yeah. I retired, I started doing a garden every year. And he would just about walk over here every single day mm -hmm. and inspect my garden, make sure I was doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he helped me quite a bit. He, he would be what I would consider a good mentor. Yes. And so, um, but um, on the day that he actually passed away, uh, we was over there about probably less than an hour before he passed away. Mm -hmm. And he was unresponsive at that time. We knew yeah. it was close. Yeah. And so, uh, and we didn't do a video on this, but Marie did prepare a full meal, and we took a full meal over there to him the next day, the day after he passed, for his uh, wife and their family. And so, um, anyway, it was sad, but mm -hmm. he's in a better place, and we know he's up there rejoicing. Yeah. And uh, I didn't mention this, but also Mr. Blair was a veteran also. Yeah. And so, uh, okay, Marie. <laughs> that sort of got me out of breath talking about all that. Why don't you, for just a minute, mention how we're keeping up with our prayer list yeah. and, and how that's going and just talk about that for a minute for me and give me a second to rest. Okay. We have a, a, a prayer book and we have a lot of y'all's names in it that ask for prayer. And so uh, we've heard that uh, some of y'all are um, getting some uh, uh, good results and some good blessings and so we're glad that um, um, that God answers our prayers when we lift them up to him and uh, we have some people that are uh, like one lady she's going to have a, a double pass um, um, how do you say that heart a, bypass. A, yeah a heart a double pat how do you say that a double heart bypass <laughs> okay she's going to have a double um, heart bypass and uh, we don't know exactly when it is or anything like that but uh, uh, her name is uh, let me go get my prayer book and then it's I'll be right back is her name. oh okay well I'm not good at names okay but... go get your prayer book <laughs> okay. alright um, this right here is my um, prayer book and it's got uh, quite a few people on it and it's starting another page but if you have any prayer requests you can leave them in the comment and we'll put your name in the book and we'll pray for you every day and y'all pray for us and uh, we have something else that's coming up with Calvin in several weeks and uh, I would like for y'all to continue to pray for Calvin and we'll tell you about it whenever Calvin's ready <laughs> okay okay well what what Marie's referring to was back before my surgery when they did the heart stress test. The doctor did say that he felt like I probably had a blockage 
uh, in my heart. And so uh, he said at some point that he wanted to do a heart cath and go in there and look at it. And if it needed, it, put a stent in. And so we're hoping that's all it would be, would just be a stent. Yeah. But I have an appointment coming up in about another uh, week and week and a half. And uh, he'll probably make a decision then. The last time I went to see him, he said he would hold off just a little longer, give me more time to recover from the surgery yeah. before they made a decision on that. So, so we'll, uh, we, you know, we're praying for good results on that. And y'all uh, keep me and Marie both on your prayer list also. Yeah, okay. and I have you in here too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so uh, another subject that I wanted to talk about, we did our, we, you know, we buy groceries weekly, but we also do a monthly grocery order. Mm -hmm. And when we did our monthly grocery order, we usually do a Walmart pickup. And as we're going through there, adding items to our list, it's amazing how many of the great value, great value brands that Walmart don't have in stock. And so quite a few items we weren't able to pick up for the great value. And some of them that we felt like we had to have right away. I went ahead and ordered the name brand, but a lot of those name brand items cost you almost twice what the great value brand cost. Yeah. And so uh, we like the great value and we love the taste, we don't have any problems with the quality. Mm -hmm. There may be one or two items that we won't order in the Great Value brand. Mm -hmm. Well, my complaint, <laughs> and this is a complaint, is that uh, we went into the store, we've been in several times recently, but as I walk around the store, I notice that what they've done, used to the section that would have the Great Value brand, you know, it may be, you know, five or six foot wide. Now they've reduced that section down to where it's real small. In a lot of cases, they put the great value all the way down on the very bottom shelf. And these are a lot of the items that people like uh, memory, you know, seniors, they're trying to watch their budget real close. Mm -hmm. They're trying to buy the great value items. And here they've made them so, such a small section that it don't take but a few minutes for it to sell out. Yeah. And those sections are sitting there empty you look out through here, it'd be eight or ten foot of the name brand products uh, at double prices. Mm -hmm. So um, what I'm debating about, we, we've been to Aldi's before, but we've tried several of the Aldi uh, brands, and some of them we just didn't like, and so we said we weren't going back. But we may have to start going back to Aldi's, Marie. Uh, also, we're going to look at Kroger's and check their... Uh, the Kroger store brand items out and so I was I was even debating about doing a video and compare the prices between the different ones and uh, see you know how many they stock at Walmart versus how many they stock at Kroger's or Aldi's. I know when you so, go in Kroger's there's just uh, there's no shortages of anything it doesn't look yeah, like. Their <laughs> store is so big. And it's just packed full of everything and I don't know why Walmart can't be like that. Walmart used to have it packed yeah. full of the uh, Great Value brand, but they have reduced it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Yeah. But uh, make comments. Let me know what you think about that. And uh, like I said, I've debated about doing a video and going into the store and recording and do some comparisons of the different uh, spaces that they have allotted for the Great Value brand. So y'all make a comment. Let me know how you feel about that. Okay, Marie. Uh, let's talk about our videos that we did last week, okay? All right. If you're ready. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, the first video we did was our Sunday chat last week. And on that video, we did have a mail call. And that turned out to be a big mail call. Uh, mm -hmm. We had no idea what was in the box. I thought it was probably just one item. And I thought it wouldn't last but a few minutes. But it was it had quite a few small items. So... It took a lot longer than I expected, mm -hmm. but, but we appreciate Kathleen. She's one that sent that to us. Uh, the next video that we did last week, Marie, mm -hmm. you did the chicken cobbler. Yeah. And that's the one where you made two of them and we took one over to the Blairs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and by the way, uh, Miss, Mrs. Blair and her son both said it was just absolutely delicious. They really enjoyed it. Yeah. And so... I enjoyed it too. It's uh, similar to a 
chicken pot pie, yeah. but it's got a different kind of crust on it with that bread. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And I, when you heat it up on leftovers, mm -hmm. it was even better with leftovers. Yeah, and it was very easy to make and fast. <laughs> it was. And budget friendly. <laughs> yeah. And then the next video that Marie did last week was the peanut butter icebox cake. Yeah. And that recipe, I actually didn't try it the day it was made. Mm -hmm. I waited till the next day and tried it, and it was a it was very good. Yes, it was extremely good the next day. The first day, uh, I tried it early because we were trying to finish video. our video up and it had a little crunch to it. Mm -hmm. But the next day, it was just right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the one thing, yeah, that was the one thing I noticed. The uh, Kroger brand graham crackers seemed to be a little more crunchier than what the other brand would be. Yeah. And, and uh, it was hard to find those on um, chocolate graham crackers, but mm -hmm. Kroger didn't even have them in the name brand, but in the off, in their store brand, they had uh, uh, just two boxes left. Yeah. So I was lucky to even get them, but no chance at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's the reason I say, you know, sometimes when you buy the store brands, they're not always the best quality or the best tasting, but in most cases they're about close to half the price of the name brands and so uh, we, we buy store brands as much as possible um, also on that video for the uh, peanut butter icebox cake that was the day addison came over oh yeah and oh my goodness she just loved that peanut butter icebox cake yeah and when she came over she really didn't feel that good she's been having a little stuffy nose i guess it's this pollen and everything and um but boy she really liked that yeah, didn't she? she did she enjoyed it very much and uh we just love when addison comes she just, over oh i'm sorry she just talks up a storm when she feels good but she wasn't feeling that great was she <laughs> no and you could tell you could hear her breathing she mm. was having problems with her breathing but yeah. uh, all this pollen and everything that's out there right now especially where we live there's a lot of pine pollen and it falls and it's yellow yeah. and it just turns everything yellow so yeah <laughs> we we had plenty of it but the rain helps wash it away so we appreciate the rain that we had last yes, week yes we did okay um marie that covers all the videos we uh we've got some videos that we have planned for this coming week and uh you haven't actually cooked any of them yet, have you? Not yet. <laughs> we uh, we were just messing around. I think it was yesterday, and um, yesterday was the day that Marie was tired, and I felt fairly decent. And so I <laughs> came in here for lunch, and I was looking around, and I seen two or three things. I said, I "Said I want to throw something together for lunch right quick." Oh, and it was delicious. So, I told Calvin I don't think that I could went out to any restaurant <laughs> and got anything any better. And I said, uh, you're a lot better cook than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I said, oh, you're going to have to get better so you can get in the kitchen and cook some of that good stuff you know how to make. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I, I fixed it up. It only took me about, I think, 20 or 25 minutes to make yeah. the entire meal. So it was a definitely fast meal. Mm -hmm. And we used um, everything I put in it was leftovers mm -hmm. and stuff that we had frozen in the freezer. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that Marie and I are good about doing is, uh, and I'm going to give you an example. If we take a bell pepper and cut it in half and use half of it for a recipe, we'll take the second half and go ahead and cut it up or either just slice it up and we'll put it in the freezer so that we'll have it when we want to use it ne when we need next right. recipe. And so we're good about doing stuff like that. So everything we used was stuff we had, and I put it all together real fast and real easy. And Marie said, did you record that? I said, that would make a good video. <laughs> uh, I, I had felt, I had sort of, I was snapping actually <laughs> when he did all that. And so I think I woke up and smelled that good stuff that you was in here cooking. And I yeah, you you called in here and you said, I don't know what you're cooking, but it smells good. Yeah, and uh, he does stuff like that. He'll sneak around and do, do stuff when I'm asleep, and I do him the same way sometimes. Okay. But anyway. But anyway, um, 
you know, it was just a common meal, and it was yeah. something that we enjoy. It was and, uh, very good. It was rice and chicken and uh, sautéed vegetables on, mm -hmm. on it. You know, it was just really good. Yeah. So one day when I'm feeling good again, we may cook that meal and record it for a video, okay? Yeah, okay. And, and I'll do it. Y'all had not seen me cook in a little while. Yeah. I've been letting Marie do all the cooking videos. Yeah, and I was glad that he had a day where he felt like, you know, he does when he feels a little like doing something, you know, he does it, and that's good for him, too. But, um, you know, I'm glad that um, you felt like doing it that day. Me, too. After my last immuno treatment, yeah. I went through probably at least 10 to 12 days that I didn't feel good. And when I say I don't feel good, I mean I'm just tired, exhausted, and sleepy. Yeah. And can't get anything done, nothing accomplished. I can do anything mostly through the day but after six o'clock that's my spot where i don't feel like doing anything else <laughs> well, yeah. i'm done another thing that marie and i have started doing is we're trying to prepare our meals uh, number one we're trying to make them a little healthier we're leaving salt out when we can yeah uh, we've cut back on our sweets and desserts and we've cut back on our bread yeah, my sugar was good. <laughs> yeah, Marie's sugar levels was real good, weren't they? Yeah. And so, uh, but also we're trying, if the recipe calls for a 9 by 13, we're trying to cut in half and do it in an 8 by 8, mm -hmm. and it seems to work pretty good so far. But yeah. something we've always done in the past is uh, if we did a 9 by 13 casserole, Marie and I would enjoy it, and we'd probably get out enough for our next meal that we want to do as a leftover meal. Mm -hmm. But then we would take the rest of it and we would put it in containers and freeze it and have it later. Mm -hmm. And so we may do a video and show you a little bit of how we do that with, a, say, a 9 by 13 casserole. Next time Marie prepares one like that, we'll do that, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, I think we pretty much covered everything for today. Uh, you know, nothing real exciting going on this last week for us, but uh, we did go through a lot of emotions, uh, you yeah. know, dealing with our friend passing away. Yeah. And Calvin so, put up the flag in honor of him because he did serve our country. Yeah. And um, so uh, he, he put, he let it fly for about three days. You know, naturally we took it down at night time, but yeah. anyway. It, it's going to be hard on Kevin because every time Kevin went out the door, Mr. Blair, he, if he'd see him, they would always talk to each other. Yeah, we'd always so talk. Every he evening. was a real good friend with Kevin. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close this video out for today. Uh, we appreciate everyone taking your time to watch our channel. Uh, like Marie said, if you've got any prayer requests, put them in the comments. We'll be glad to add you to our book. And we will be praying for everyone on this uh, prayer list every single day. And uh, some of you that are on it, like uh, this um, heart bypass surgery and everything, um, you know, I would like to know the date and everything. If you can, can it, put it in the comments or mm -hmm. just let us know because uh, we want to know the, out the outcomes of y'all. So, so we can give God the praise for... Um, healing <laughs> okay so um uh, so if you got any prayer requests leave them in the comments we'll appreciate that and if you got any suggestions for you know anything that you'd like to see us do with our channel that may be different than what we're doing now put that in the comments too because we're definitely open to change aren't we Marie? Some, we, sometimes, <laughs> we sometimes. Have, we're not able to do a lot of different changes uh, because of my health. And Marie has health issues also. We don't talk about those. Uh, our channel's not supposed to be about our health. No. And so we're wanting to try to get to a point that we can uh, give good entertainment without having to talk about how, yeah. how bad things are going. Well, so. there, we just take it day by day and just, in, just give God the... Praise um, and glory. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> okay, y'all. We'll go ahead and close it out now. Like I said, uh, we hope you're having a great weekend. We love all of you, and we appreciate you very much. Okay, and so y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we hope y'all have a great weekend. Bye. Like a bird on a tree.
I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. 